this video, I will show you the two methods that I use to test a MOSFET. Uh, there is two kinds of MOSFET, the in-channel and uh, the P-channel MOSFET. So as you can see, these are the pin-out of those two MOSFET. But in this video, I will use only the in-channel MOSFET because this is the one that I have now and this method is also applicable to P-channel MOSFET. Now I have here four different in-channel MOSFET. The first one, we have a KS45. The other one is P552 bus 71A and IRFP450. Now meter on diode mode. First, let's check this uh, IRFP450. So red probe to the source, black probe to drain, and we have 0 0.4. Now reverse the probe, and we have OL. So, so far, it is a good indication. Then the first thing we have to do is again red probe to the source black probe to drain then charge the gate with the red probe and go back to the source and as you can see the voltage drop to zero uh, to point zero eighty six and there is a beep so after charging the gate it turn it turns on the MOSFET and allow the current from the drain to source that's why there is a continuity between these two pin after charging the gate and we heard a beep on our multimeter so it means that this MOSFET is a good MOSFET next we have the bus 71A so first let's try read probe Red probe to the drain, black probe to source, we should get OL. OL, so far so good. Then reverse the probe, red probe to the source, and black probe to drain. We should get a voltage drop of 0 0.5. Now, let's charge the gate with the red probe and go back to source and we hear a beep and there's a voltage drop from 0 0.5 to 0 0.097 which means that this MOSFET is also a good MOSFET now we have IRF 640N so Red probe to the drain and black probe to source. And we got OL. The first indication is good. Then reverse the probe. Black probe to the drain. Red probe, red probe to source. And 0 0.5. So far so good. Now let's try to charge the gate. Charge the gate with the red probe. Then go back to source. There is a voltage drop from 0 0.5 to 0 
and we don't hear the beep we did not hear the beep now is this MOSFET a good MOSFET or is it a bad MOSFET? We have to confirm it on the second method. From there, we will know. Now, let's proceed to this MOSFET. K2645. Red probe to drain. In black probe to source, we should get OL. You see immediately, there's a beep on our multimeter. Let's reverse the probe. Again, beep. Let's charge the gate. Again, beep. Let's, let's test these two pins. Again, beep. This MOSFET is a short MOSFET or this MOSFET is shorted so this is a defective MOSFET it is confirmed this MOSFET is defective this one we will confirm this one this is a good MOSFET this one this is a good MOSFET so let's proceed to the second method so this is the second method which uh, I believe the most effective method and that is to simulate the circuit on the board so now here on my breadboard we create a circuit uh, based on a MOSFET actual circuit on the board as you can see from this point we have an input voltage of 3.5 volts so the next thing we have to do is to supply an input voltage to the gate once we supply an input voltage to the, to the gate it should turn on our led so since we have a 3.5 volts coming to the drain what i will do is to make a jumper from this pin going here and it should turn on our LED like this see as you can see after we put this jumper it supply an input voltage to the gate and now our LED is turned on on our first test using the multimeter this MOSFET it shows that it is okay so we confirm on this second test or in this second method that this MOSFET is a good MOSFET now let's uh, try another MOSFET this MOSFET K2645 on the first method we use using a multimeter it showed that this MOSFET is short so let's try this one on the second method and we will see what we will get as you can see even we don't have a supply on the gate the LED immediately turn on it is because that the drain in the source of this MOSFET is shorted so this is actually a defective MOSFET although it turned on the lead but on the actual circuit where we have to switch on a device on a certain time then we cannot use this shorted MOSFET it will compromise our circuit or may harm the other component on the board see if I remove this one it's off so without without supply see without supply on the gate the, the LED immediately turn on because this MOSFET is a short MOSFET 
the second one is this IRF 640N so on the first method the reading actually of this MOSFET is confusing so we need to try it on this kind of method to see if this is a good MOSFET or a defective one let's connect it connected now let's supply a voltage on the gate of this MOSFET and we will see if it will turn on so I will use this uh, tweezer to make a jumper here between the gate and the drain because we already have a 3.5 volts here on the drain so I will make a jumper here and it should on our LED as you can see the LED is on so it means that this MOSFET is a good MOSFET even though there is a confusing reading when we are using the multimeter it is because that uh, this, this power MOSFET needs a higher current on its gate in order to turn on this MOSFET actually is uh, used in the board of uh, x-ray machine now I have shown you a two different method of uh, checking a MOSFET with this one I conclude that the second method which is simulating the actual circuit on the board by making this connection on the, on the breadboard is the most effective I hope you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe